Right. Hi everyone, this is Paul from The Outdoor Adventure. Now, you may have seen this online, you may have seen it uh, on a video. Um, people have uh, been advertising and saying that you can make your own infrared goggles at home. And what they do is they say to get something like a pair of uh, welding goggles, take out the lenses, and put in a combination of uh, red and blue gel uh, screens. Put them on, and uh, and there you go. You've got infrared goggles. Now, um, I, this video is about why this method won't work. Now, it's very simple. I'm going to try to explain it uh, simply. Now, we with our regular eyes can see a broad range of light. All right, so what they call the spectrum of light. Now, the infrared spectrum. If you take that, um, uh, what's the infrared? Most of it is invisible to our eye, so a very small amount of it we can see. Very small, so not very much light at all. Most of it is out of our range of vision. Now, what this method does is it blocks out everything except that visible infrared light. So it brings us down and all we see is a very small amount. So, if you take one of these lenses, you can see a very small amount of light, but the problem is because it's so small, you can't see hardly any of it at all. But this is an infrared flashlight, just in just a case. So what happened, the problem is, as I said, is it isolates most of the light. It doesn't help you to see more infrared light. It only allows you to see what is infrared light. Now be very careful with these things. If you look at the sun, because it makes it so dark, it opens up your eye and exposes it to a lot of uh, radiation from the sun and it will damage your eye very quickly so don't don't look at the sun ever when you use this so this method doesn't really work because it doesn't allow you to see more infrared light it just cuts out the majority of light and allows you to be, see a very small aspect of the visible infrared spectrum now so that method is not going to work no matter what people say um, I've tried it and I got myself an expensive infrared flashlight just to make sure and you can see a very small light, um, but that's it. Now, what you can do um, to help out, and if you want to, to, to try to make it, is you need something that's going to translate infrared light into visible light. All right, so you have to get something that will change that invisible infrared light into visible light, and then you'll be able to see it. Um, but to do that, of course, you need some kind of technology, and it's not going to be super cheap. Now, if you see this, this light right now is on, and you can't see anything. I'm going to get there, because this camera that I'm using, my GoPro, does not translate infrared light into visible light. Now, if on the other hand, if you take another camera, like my little point-and-shoot here, it just so happens that it takes that light and makes it visible. So as you can see, you can see that this flashlight is on, but you can't see it on unless you're looking at this screen. So that shows you a little bit, a little bit of that light. So it just shows you that what you do need is you need something, some kind of machine, camera, lens, that allows you to see infrared light. Now, that can be as simple as some, some uh, camcorders allow you to see infrared light and they allow you to have a night vision where you can boost it. Um, also, what you can use is you can get a night vision um, telescope, like uh, the ones that uh, you would have on a, a gun site, a gun site and stuff like that for night hunting, you can use those to let you see it. Now, this is helpful because a flash, a infrared flashlight, because it allows you to um, uh, enhance the amount of infrared light and allows you to see, and that's how they work. So, these lights are good in combination with another machine like this, but more complicated, that will allow you to translate the infrared, the invisible infrared spectrum, into visible. So this method, kind of neat, looks funny when you look out the window, dangerous for the sun, but it's not going to help you see in the night. 